Quebec's Lac Sacacomi is 800 feet above sea level. The air here is clear and the views are spectacular. But if you do want to see a bit more, you're going to have to go a little bit higher. The first seaplane came in Lac à la Tortue in 1919. Uh, it was called the Vigilance, and uh, uh, bush planes uh, have been very, very important in the development of the country and of the, uh, the, of the Quebec, because uh, for uh, postal services and uh, also for uh, uh, fishing lodges and uh, hunting and all this kind of stuff. What we do in the company, it's uh, mostly aerotourism. We, uh, we are doing uh, seaplane uh, flights, seaplane uh, tours uh, in uh, magnificent places like, uh, like uh, Sakakomi Hotel. I've been told this is the ultimate way to appreciate the vastness of this beautiful part of Quebec, but like a lot of people, I'm not the most confident of flyers. <laughs> I'm quite scared now. But there really is nothing to be scared of, and the wonderful sensation of taking off on water is just the beginning of this magical journey. You see a lot of wilderness, you can see beaver dams, you can see a lot of lakes, rivers, valleys, it's very beautiful and it's a, it's a good way to, uh, to discover all the Quebec areas and uh, Mauricie also. Uh, the Mauricie region is located between Montreal and Quebec City. So two hours from Quebec City, an hour 45 minutes from Montreal. Uh, and the Mauricie region is the most uh, natural region we have in Quebec. 17,000 lakes surrounding by mountains and, uh, and wood, actually. Um, just here in saint alexis des monts we have 600 lakes. I think the thing with this is that when you're on the ground, you just cannot comprehend just not only the size of the lakes, but also the size of the forest. I've just really, genuinely never seen anything like this before. It's just more than you could, you just would never ever see it, sort of scenery and landscapes like this in the UK ever. Usually the people are amazed uh, by the space, the wilderness, and uh, it's, uh, it's a thrill, you know, it's very, very beautiful and it's, uh, it's kind of uh, a little bit exciting to fly and to uh, take off and land on water in a little place like uh, a lake, it's very beautiful. The people are really amazed. Well, I'm normally afraid of flying, but that was absolutely thrilling. I would recommend it to anyone. And if you really want to see the area in all its glory, that has got to be the way to do it.